Hey, yo, it's Famous Criminals, and I got a serious issue. How am I supposed to get women with guys like this running around? From San Antonio, of course, this is our type. Oh, hell no. Nah. And it turns out that DK might not only be into just women. There's rumors that he swings both ways. He's part of the LGBT, the lesbian, gay, bisexual tequila community. I wasted about 30 minutes trying to find proof of this rumor, and all I found was a video of him holding a pink phone. Pink phone is crazy. <laughs> uh, I like to feel cute sometimes, little bro. What you gonna do about me feeling pretty? Throw a gate at you? And then bro said pretty, he could have said handsome or something. Oh, bro, uh, I like to feel cute sometimes. <laughs> okay. And a youth pastor saying D. Kane worships Satan. Oh God, Father, I do not want to talk about this individual. And God spoke to me, and He said, expose these people and let the youth know the truth about these individuals. So it's like the Noah times, man, on TikTok. God wants me to expose these devil worshipers, these demons. God really wants me to do this on TikTok. So I'm gonna keep talking about these guys because that's God's will for me. You guys, your little kids out here are idolizing this guy in schools. You, little kids are talking about this guy. They wanna be like this guy. They wanna tattoo their faces. This guy is lost. This guy's evil. This guy made a pact with the devil or with the reaper. He made a pact with the devil to get all this little fame and get connections with you know who. And he made a pact. He made a pact. So my, my mission is to save the youth. And Satan must be giving out bad deals because worst case scenario, D. Kane ends up in prison five years from now. Best case scenario, he gets a job at the Home Depot. TikTok fame doesn't last too long. The 12 year olds paying attention to you are gonna focus on something else 30 seconds later. Literally each video is 15 seconds. The faster you blow up, the faster you fall. And I just got a message from You Ain't Hard Fool saying D. Kane has been DMing minors. They interviewed a girl who was saying that D. Kane was talking to her when she was 16 and he was 23. And the thing about D. Kane is he's not afraid to break the law. We have this image that predators are busted looking dudes who drive vans. Oftentimes, they're dudes who look like this driving big wheels. This girl is alleging that D. Kane didn't care that she was 16 just as long as she didn't tell anyone. She said that his charges stem from him beating up his own grandparents. Now that's pretty cold blooded. He beats not only on females, he beats on his grandparents actually too. His grandma. The abuelitos? Yeah, those those charges he says oh look at my charges two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them okay <laughs> now this might be a controversial take but i'm against beating up old people you shouldn't do it guys just say no even if you have a really strong urge to try it if you're willing to beat up elders you're probably willing to beat on your girl too she tells a vivid story of d kane slapping her and putting her in a headlock <laughs> He was abusive to you, allegedly, on this account? Yes. It was, it got bad. It got bad, but it wasn't like, oh, I was letting him beat me. I was also, you know, being defensive. Okay. Because I'm not going to let no man beat me. Yeah. But, yes, it got to the point where he, we got in this one big argument, and he got mad. He actually broke my pink phone. The pink phone that his whole audio thingy, he broke that. Two, he, um, because he got caught cheating. And then two... Uh, we had a big argument. I literally pushed him not too hard. Like, bro, you're you're a midget. You can go flying. But I didn't even push him that hard. Yeah. Turn around. I'm standing up by the couch. And he turns around. He looks at me. And he literally slaps me so hard. He starts laughing. And... Damn. Like, we're talking about... Like, we're talking about... <laughs> yes. Like, one of those competitive slaps. Okay. 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 And he laughs and he's like, ah oh, ha ha, like you're funny, like I could do it again, I could do it again, I wish I did it even harder. Damn. So from there, he was like, don't make me slap you. Like, anytime I got into an altercation, he'll be like, don't make me slap you how I did last time. So that's why he has those bruises on his, I don't know if he showed y'all on the live, because I know I saw that he showed it on yeah. the live. But he has bruises on his chest from me, from him choking. Y'all, he's put me in a headlock three or four times to the point I couldn't breathe. And I told him to let go. And he was like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? I was like, I'm done. Cause he didn't want me to get his phone. That's why he did it. She eventually broke up with him because he was asking 14 year old girls for feet pics. This dude has a thing for sucking toes. And if it's true, he should be in prison. 
Also, Mark, so you were saying that he, so basically he cheated on you with other quinceañeras? But yeah. Other younger girls? Mm -hmm. Younger than you, basically, allegedly? Like a year or two. Mm -hmm. There's actually screenshots that I have when I was with him. I was laying next to him and girls were arguing with me. And a freshman girl, that's a freshman. Yeah. That literally just became a freshman. And his 23 year old ass was asking girl for feet pictures. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. These girls can't even drive yet, and a grown man is trying to munch on their feet. Now, what's the psychology behind this? You could watch the interview with the alleged victim on the Mad Deep podcast. And for now, I'm just going to say alleged because some people lie. Some people will straight up make up something or exaggerate. This girl should probably go to the police before she goes on a podcast. She's willing to tell this random guy, but she's not willing to tell her parents. It's weird. And I can't believe this dude is 23. He should know better. It's never okay to date minors. Minors aside, if you're DMing a girl or if you match with a girl, she's probably going to tell one of her friends, especially if you're a public figure. Not even Helen Keller could keep quiet. Speaking of not being able to drive, D. Kane attempted to buy a car at a dealership, but they wouldn't let him. My baby mama left me. I was at the car dealership yesterday, and I didn't get I didn't get approved for the car. <laughs> he was laughing. It's because just... it's because you're a little kid. How are you How are you expecting to get approved for an AMG when you're a little kid? <laughs> you gotta be a grown ass man like me, Collette. <laughs> That's definitely not why. Anyways, if he's gonna let me explain the situation, like I was saying, I've been going through so many things lately. My baby mama left me. I was at the car dealership trying to get a car and I didn't get approved because my only one. Why did he leave? Couldn't get a lease, loan, anything. Sure, they'll let you buy a car in cash, but he didn't have enough cash. That's right, you could buy a 2010 Cadillac for like four grand. It's probably gonna have some problems, but you could still get a decent car for like three or four grand. And it just shows that D. Kane doesn't have that money at his disposal. And I'm telling you, these TikTokers don't make that much money. Y'all wanna know how tall I am? Yes or no? Four two? Nah. Five feet? Nah. Five six? Nah. Four eight? Nah. Five nine? Nah. Four eleven? Nah. Five four? That's close. That's close. Five four is close. Five three? Yo. Yeah. Y'all got it right. This dude doesn't want to talk about his height. I was guessing he was 5'2", but apparently he's 5'3". He still has a little trouble reaching shelves. And listen, I've said this before, I don't like short people. And don't get excited, tall people, because I don't like you either. A medium shirt fits me fine. It would look like a dress on D. Kane or a tank top on Jokic. I gotta be careful because the shorts and the talls might team up against me. But until then, I'm gonna keep talking down to D. Kane. I've had it down to here with him. Why is he so popular? There's literally 10 D. Kanes walking around the Aurora Mall. Same haircut, same bad tattoos. Maybe that's why he's famous, because he looks familiar. Oh, I know that dude. He's got the Edgar fade with the prison tattoos. But I can't hate on someone for getting money. Money, even if it is not enough money to buy a used car but you guys get where I'm coming from what exactly does D Kane do besides go live he's not even entertaining on live he just sits there looking all weird and it's mostly girls who follow him this says a lot about women girls say that they want a tall rich guy just to get impregnated by a busted looking short dude with warrants that's actually pretty funny now that I say it out loud anyway what do y'all think of D. Kane's allegations? Is he innocent or guilty? I'm out. How are you gonna run up on your own grandparents and hit them up with a knife? How are you gonna do that? You want me to call them right now? I mean, you can call them, everything's changed now, probably. But exactly. I'm just saying, how are you gonna run up on your own grandparents? And... No wonder you got assault charges. Huh? You is not no thug. You're not really from the century. You want me to call call him right now? Well, I don't care who you call, bro. I'm not worried exactly. about this. I'm worried about why you do well, all stop this. Stop trying to bro. act like you know when you don't know. No, no, no. See, now you're trying to say something because you know I got word around town. What's the word around town? Bro, when you hit that yard and you ran up on your grandparents, it's over with, bro. You need to pay attention to the bigger picture in life. Do you hear this kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he wants oh, to see your ID. You, bro, you think life is a game? Sure, though. Yeah. Like, 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 you got a sixteen, you got a sixteen-year-old girlfriend. Okay. And for the people that don't know, he has a sixteen-year-old girlfriend. He supposedly got her pregnant. Her ex, her ex, his ex, even she's sixteen as well. She said what? that he left. Hey. Okay, I'm sixteen, but I'm at the club. I'm sixteen, but I'd be at the club. I don't want to hear you. Shut your face. Shut your face. Shut your face. Shut your face. Anyways, DK's ex, the other girl, she's pregnant, but where's the baby at? Nobody's yeah, pregnant, she also, she also claimed to say, DK is not from El Salvador. DK is, little, DK is a little normal resident. That's my you're passion. a normal resident, cuz. Now, you're not from El Salvador. That's so, bro, you all wiped that 13 off your face before somebody else wiped it for you, bro. 